I mean, they, they definitely outchanced us. I mean, uh, you know, as you know, Jack, I, I don't really concern myself about shots. Um, certainly would love to keep it under 27 and, uh, against, so that's not ideal. Um, but they all played us and outchanced us tonight. Just, I don't need the, uh, the totals, but, uh, you know, there were some moments where we had some chances to potentially uh, tie the game at two and make it 3-2, uh, you know, like the Formington breakaway. Um, so there were some moments where we could have got back in the hockey game. But overall, uh, I certainly felt that they all played us and outchanced us. Uh, you know, I thought we did a really great job Tuesday night, and uh, there was just too much separation, you know, between the forwards and the defense, and um, and then our regroups. Uh, you know, we have a specific structure when we can't go up with the quick up mentality, and um, so our routes were off. Um, so that certainly was a a major factor in the game tonight. When we made some adjustments to our lines on Tuesday, uh, you know, the Bishop, Kelly, Kapakaling, you know, really got us going and, and played really well as the game progressed. But then, you know, Kelly and LeBate uh, have had some great chemistry going back to last year, um, you know, the first half of the year with with Cole Castles. They were, they were awesome in terms of what you're looking for that, you know, from that energy line, uh, for checking type of line. And I think Bishop, uh, from a center's perspective, is, is kind of that mentality, you know, in terms of how he wants to play the game. He's very reliable on the PK, um, you know, face-off wise. I thought he struggled in the face-off dot tonight, but, uh, you know, he's been known to be a real good face-off man and, and I thought was very effective Tuesday on the face-offs, but uh, certainly got dominated tonight as the whole team did. I, I don't think, I don't have the percentage in front of me, but but uh, we were uh, probably uh, in the mid 40s tonight uh, without looking at the numbers. Right into it too much. Uh, you know, certainly you'd like to always like to get the lead, uh, you know, maybe because last year's team was, you know, uh, you know, not that we didn't give up the first goal all the time, but we were a team that uh, could come back at any time. But certainly now after four games and, uh, we're a much, much different team than last year. So uh, certainly moving forward, I think we need to uh, get better starts. And that's the youth of the group of being ready to play. And, um, you know, it's going to be my job and my coaching staff job to, to, to get them ready. Um, you know, just driving in, you know, uh, busing in now instead of coming the night before. And, you know, yesterday, for example, this week, we obviously had a really good game on Tuesday. And, Played well in a lot of five-on-five -five situations. And Wednesday's was a great practice. I didn't like yesterday's practice. I didn't think we were very good. And uh, not to say that we didn't play well tonight because of the practice yesterday, but um, you know I didn't like the last two days. So that's consistency. But you know we've only got six players over the age of 24, so uh, it's a pretty youthful group. And hopefully, as we mature over the next few weeks, uh, we'll have better starts and, and more consistency from day to day.